The break-even point for an aquarium exhibit is the number of visitors that need to pay for the exhibit to cover its costs. To calculate this number, we need to know two types of costs. Fixed and variable. Fixed costs are any costs that do not change with the number of visitors. For example, rent, insurance, and depreciation are fixed costs. They have to be paid regardless of how many people come to see the exhibit. Variable costs are any costs that change with the number of visitors. For example, labor, utility expenses, and raw materials are variable costs. They increase as more people come to see the exhibit. To find the break-even point, we need to use this formula. Break-even point equals fixed cost slash, price per visitor, variable cost per visitor, price per visitor is how much each visitor pays to see the exhibit. Variable cost per visitor is how much it costs to serve each visitor. Let's use some numbers to illustrate this formula. Suppose we have an aquarium exhibit that costs $12.5 million to build. This is a fixed cost that we have to pay off over time. Let's say we pay it off in 10 years with an annual interest rate of 5%. This means our annual fixed cost for the exhibit is $12.5 million x 0.05 slash 1 to 1 slash 1 plus 0.05 carat 10 equals $1.63 million. Now let's assume we charge $20 per visitor and our variable cost per visitor is dollar. This includes labor, utilities, and raw materials. Using the formula, we can find the break-even point. Break-even point equals $1.63 million slash 20 to $5 equals 108,667 visitors. This means we need at least 108,667 visitors per year to break even on our aquarium exhibit. If we have more than that, we will make a profit. If we have less than that, we will make a loss. One of the main challenges of running an aquarium exhibit is to generate enough revenue to cover the costs and make a profit. In this video, we will explore some of the ways to increase the revenue from different sources, such as ticket sales, merchandise, donations, and sponsorships. Ticket sales are the primary source of income for most aquarium exhibits. To increase ticket sales, you need to attract more visitors and encourage repeat visits. There are several strategies you can use to achieve this goal. Create buzz about a specific exhibit or experience. For example, you can feature a rare or exotic animal, such as a Komodo dragon or a giant octopus. You can also offer interactive or immersive experiences, such as feeding sessions, diving tours, or virtual reality shows. These can create a sense of curiosity and excitement among potential visitors and generate word-of-mouth publicity. Draw attention to a renovation or expansion. If you have recently upgraded or added new facilities or exhibits, you can use this as an opportunity to promote your aquarium and attract new visitors. You can highlight the benefits and features of the new additions, such as improved accessibility, sustainability, or educational value. You can also offer discounts or incentives for visitors who come during the opening period. Be the biggest and best at something. You can differentiate your aquarium from other competitors by claiming a unique selling point or a record-breaking achievement. For example, you can boast about having the largest freshwater aquarium in Europe, the longest underwater tunnel in the world, or the most diverse collection of marine life in your region. You can also showcase your expertise and authority on a specific topic or theme, such as conservation, research, or innovation. Balance access to wild animals with promoting conservation. One of the main attractions of aquarium exhibits is the opportunity to see and learn about wild animals that are otherwise inaccessible or endangered. However, you also need to be mindful of the ethical and environmental implications of keeping these animals in captivity and displaying them to the public. You need to ensure that your aquarium follows high standards of animal welfare and care, and that you educate your visitors about the threats and challenges facing these animals in their natural habitats. You can also support conservation efforts by donating a portion of your ticket sales to relevant organizations or causes. 
Merchandise is another important source of revenue for aquarium exhibits. To increase merchandise sales, you need to offer products that are appealing, relevant, and affordable for your visitors. There are several strategies you can use to achieve this goal. Refresh your merchandise strategy regularly. You need to keep up with the changing preferences and trends of your target market and offer products that match their interests and needs. You can also align your merchandise with your exhibits and programs, such as offering souvenirs related to a specific animal or experience. You can also introduce seasonal or limited edition products to create a sense of urgency and exclusivity among your customers. Offer a wide range of quality products at different price points. You need to cater to different segments and budgets of your visitors and offer products that suit their tastes and expectations. You can offer products that are functional, educational, or sentimental, such as books, toys, clothing, accessories, or art pieces. You can also offer products that are customized or personalized for your visitors, such as engraved keychains, photo frames, or mugs. Sell your products online and through other channels. You don't have to limit your merchandise sales to your physical store at your aquarium. You can also sell your products online through your own website or other platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, Amazon, Google, Pinterest, etc. This way, you can reach a wider audience and generate more sales. You can also partner with other retailers or distributors who can sell your products at their locations. Donations are another potential source of revenue for aquarium exhibits. To increase donations, you need to persuade your visitors and supporters to contribute voluntarily to your cause or mission. There are several strategies you can use to achieve this goal. Communicate your impact and value proposition clearly. You need to show your donors how their donations will make a difference and what benefits they will receive in return. You need to highlight the positive outcomes and impacts of your aquarium on the animals, the environment, the community, and the society at large. You also need to demonstrate your credibility and transparency by sharing your financial reports, success stories, and future plans. Make it easy and convenient for donors to give. You need to provide multiple options and channels for donors to make their donations, such as cash, credit card, online, mobile, or in-kind. You also need to make the donation process simple and fast, and minimize the barriers and friction that might discourage donors from giving. You can also offer flexible and recurring payment options, such as monthly or annual donations. Recognize and appreciate your donors. You need to acknowledge and thank your donors for their generosity and support. You can send them personalized messages, certificates, or cards. You can also invite them to exclusive events, tours, or programs. You can also feature them on your website, newsletter, or social media. You can also create a donor recognition wall or plaque at your aquarium. Sponsorships are another possible source of revenue for aquarium exhibits. To increase sponsorships, you need to attract and retain corporate or institutional partners who are willing to support your aquarium in exchange for exposure and recognition. There are several strategies you can use to achieve this goal. Identify and target potential sponsors who share your vision and values. You need to research and analyze the market and find sponsors who have a compatible or complementary interest or goal with your aquarium. For example, you can look for sponsors who are in the same industry or sector as your aquarium, such as tourism, education, or entertainment. You can also look for sponsors who have a similar or aligned mission or cause with your aquarium, such as conservation, research, or innovation. Create and pitch customized sponsorship packages that meet the needs and expectations of your sponsors. You need to understand what your sponsors want and offer them benefits and opportunities that match their objectives and preferences. For example, you can offer them exposure and recognition through your website, social media, signage, or publications. You can also offer them access and engagement through your events, programs, or exhibits. You can also offer them feedback and evaluation through your reports, surveys, or testimonials. Build and maintain long-term relationships with your sponsors. 
you need to communicate and collaborate with your sponsors regularly and effectively. You need to update them on your progress and achievements, and solicit their feedback and suggestions. You also need to deliver on your promises and obligations, and exceed their expectations. You also need to show your appreciation and gratitude, and celebrate your successes together. These are some of the ways to increase the revenue from ticket sales, merchandise, donations, and sponsorships for an aquarium exhibit. By implementing these strategies, you can break even with a $12.5 million aquarium exhibit and make it a profitable and sustainable venture.